EST Group, a business unit of Curtis Wright, presents Papa Plug P2 Heat Exchanger Tube Plugging System. Installation Training. This training video shows how to select proper plug size, prepare heat exchanger tubes, and install EST Group's high pressure Papa Plug P2 heat exchanger tube plug. From EST Group's tube plug sizing chart, use the tube OD and wall thickness to determine the proper size Papa Plug P2 tube plug. Alternatively, calculate the tube ID using the following formula. The calculated ID is the wall thickness times 1.8 minus the tube OD. Both of these methods will provide a good starting point for the initial sizing of heat exchanger tubes. Each P2 plug size is capable of expanding 20 thousandths of an inch or 0.5 millimeters. If the calculated tube ID is within 5 thousandths of an inch, or 0.13 millimeters of the plug's upper size range, order the next larger plug size to allow for required material removal during brushing. For example, if the calculated ID is 0.556, select a 560 P2 plug size. The inlet tube diameter may be eroded as much as 3 seconds of an inch or 2.38 millimeters due to wear caused by inlet fluid turbulence. Be careful to remove any weld projection with a tapered reamer before measuring. If plugs are selected based on calculations from a heat exchanger data sheet, it is recommended to have larger sizes on hand. When selecting P2 plugs, the plug material must match the tube material. For a full list of available plug materials, contact EST Group Customer Service. Always prepare a tube before plug installation. The tube preparation tools are a tapered reamer, a tube preparation brush, and a go-no-go -no -go gauge. The tapered reamer removes weld projection that obstructs the tube entrance. The tube preparation brush sizes the tube ID, makes it round, removes surface defects, and roughens the tube surface to improve the plug's pressure holding capabilities. The go no go gauge verifies the plug size chosen is correct. A go-no-go -go gauge and tube cleaning brush corresponding to the plug size are supplied with each box of P2 plugs. Feed water heaters have rolled and welded tube-to-tube -tube sheet joints. Fluid turbulence at the tube inlet erodes a tube wall more than the harder weld material. Over time, the tube ID can be 3 seconds of an inch or 2.38 millimeters larger than the weld entrance. The resulting weld projection must be removed using the tapered reamer because a plug that only fits past the weld projection will be too small to seal the tube. When reaming, only remove enough weld material to clear the end of the tube. Do not over ream.
After tapered reaming, use a go-no-go -no -go gauge to confirm the correct brush size. If the small end fits into the 2 by d but the large end does not, use a brush stamped with the same size. Do not assume each 2 by d will be the same size. Gauge every tube end. Next, establish the correct installation depth. The plug must be installed in the rolled section of the tube sheet. If the tube sheet is at least 2 inches, or 54.8 millimeters thick, install the plug 1 and 3 quarter inches, or 45 millimeters, to hide and protect the pin. If the tube sheet is less than 2 inches thick, the plug will have to be installed at a shallower depth, and the pin may project beyond the tube sheet face. Be careful never to strike the exposed pin. Never install a P2 beyond the tube sheet. In the unrolled portion of the tube within the tube sheet, or over the grooves in a groove tube sheet. Leaks may occur after thermal cycles. Using the go-no-go -no -go gauge, verify the proper brush size. The correct brush machines the tube to the brush OD. Never use a smaller or larger brush than indicated by the gauge. A small brush will not remove tube defects. An oversized brush may jam or break and could create deep grooves and leaks. The use of Lubitube, a brush lubricant, greatly enhances the performance of the brushes in harder tube material. Brush the 2 by d for 30 seconds using a slow, steady, back and forth motion evenly along the length of the opening to the installation depth. Brushing serves three purposes. The brush sizes the 2 by d and makes it round, it removes leak causing surface defects, and it improves the grip between the plug and the tube. Always inspect to see that brushing has accomplished these objectives. Next, after blowing away the particles left from brushing, visually inspect the 2 by d to see if it is defect free. If there are still visible defects, repeat the brushing with the next larger size brush. Severe defects may require brushing with successively larger brushes to remove them. When moving up to a larger brush, Never force the brush into the 2 by d Allow the brush to do the work. Reversing the drill to remove a brush may loosen the bristles. Recheck the size of the brush tube with the gauge. If the small end fits to the installation depth, but the large end does not, install a P2 plug of the same size as the gauge. Tube preparation is complete. The steps taken were Remove weld droop with a tapered reamer. Use the go no go gauge to confirm the correct brush size. Establish the correct installation depth, preferably at least 1 and 3 quarter inches or 45 millimeters unless the tube sheet is thinner. Brush to the installed depth using an even back and forth motion for 30 seconds. Inspect the brush tube to confirm that it is defect free. Regauge the brush tube to confirm the correct plug size. We are now ready to install the plug. The plug may be installed with any of the following installation tools. The small and large ram are standard installation tools. Close quarters ram is used for tubes near the perimeter of a hemi head heat exchanger. Manual installation tool is for applications without air or electric. Outer perimeter tool is used for the most confining spaces. 
channel head extensions are needed for narrow channel heads or when the dividing plate or wall is within one and one eighth of the center line of the leaking tube. Each component of the pull rod assembly is stamped with an arrow and the plug sizes for which it may be used. Always make sure the arrows are aligned so that they point to the plug and be sure the pull rod and plug positioner are correct for the plug size being installed. Thread the P2 plug into the end of the pull rod assembly with the plug positioner arrow pointing towards the plug. Remove the knurled nut and insert that end through the front of the ram. Secure the pull rod assembly with the knurled nut. And install the safety cable with a lock nut. Secure the hydraulic hose to the small ram and the hydraulic pump. Tighten the hose at both ends securely with gripping pliers. If not securely tightened, pressure can lock up either at the ram handle or where the hose is connected to the pump. If this occurs, firmly re-tighten both ends with gripping pliers to release any trap pressure before proceeding. Position the P2 plug in the tube at the desired installation depth. Support the ram and depress the hydraulic pump pedal to operate the ram until the breakaway pops. If the breakaway has not popped by the end of the ram stroke, release the pressure in the ram by depressing the other end of the hydraulic ram pump pedal. Retighten the knurled nut and operate the pump until the breakaway pops. If the pin pulls through the ring, the plug positioner becomes stuck on the pin, or the breakaway breaks on the wrong side, then the plug that has been installed is either too small for the tube, has been installed in the unexpanded portion of the tube, or has been installed beyond the tube sheet. Remove the plug positioner, remove the breakaway stub end, Remove the plug with a removal tool and correct the problem by brushing up and installing the next larger plug size. This must be done even if the plug passes a leak test. When the steps outlined in this video are completed properly, installation of a Popple Plug P22 plug is fast and easy. For additional information, visit cw-estgroup.com/pap.